The, I think this uh, last question is very tough, and uh, it's really difficult to, to make the prediction who is going to win. And this morning I heard that some uh, Chinese scholars argue that, and if the U.S. Uh, compete with China, or, uh, and the U.S. will lose the uh, game, and the China will win because we have a huge population than the United States. And uh, I'm not so sure. And uh, I think uh, one thing is quite sure, the competition between China and the U.S. in the South China Sea will uh, become a durable issue. Mm -hmm. And I don't think this issue can be solved very easily. Mm -hmm. And uh, as long as China and the U.S. And, uh, uh, start, uh, uh, continue their current strategy, mm -hmm. and it seems to me the conflicts uh, will become uh, even uh, worse, mm -hmm. rather getting uh, uh, reduced. Mm -hmm. And uh, along with the uh, power disparity, I mean so the naval power disparity between China and the U.S. Uh, is uh, getting uh, 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 clo uh, closer or reduced, and then the competition will become some more and more serious. Mm -hmm. So how can we solve this problem from understanding what we need is that we need a more uh, uh, dialogue between China and the U.S. Now people are talking about a cooperation from understanding now, the cooperation between China and the U.S. over the South China Sea issue is very difficult. Mm -hmm. So before they can develop a substantial cooperation uh, on these issues, and uh, I think China and the U.S. actually should adopt uh, some strategy to manage the com competition between them, rather than concerning to get uh, uh, eliminated the competition. So the best way for me, I think they need to uh, adopt a strategy, so-called the transparency. That means uh, both sides uh, and uh, uh, inform the other sides what's their next step, mm -hmm. and do not give the other side a surprise. Mm -hmm. So there's an if they if mm -hmm. there were no surprising action from each side to the other side, mm -hmm. and then it would be very possible and very be helpful to reduce the uh, misunderstanding and which may cause the unnecessary uh, uh, unexpected uh, conf uh, mental conflicts. So I think this, uh, so if I sum up the, my answer that uh, the competition between China and the U.S. Uh, uh, over the Ch uh, uh, South China Sea is durable, will last for years, but then what they need to find the manageable uh, approach mm -hmm. and uh, to uh, manage the conflicts. Well, just now I heard this uh, dialogue about uh, uh, the uh, South China, uh, no, North Korea's issue from the uh, for former uh, 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 foreign ministers, so I think are very helpful. At least uh, this kind of a multilateral dialogue can have the people exchange information, exchange their different views, and make the people have a comprehensive views about the issue, especially about the security conflicts, rather than to insist on their personal uh, uh, understanding. So I, it's, not, it's difficult to change people's view and from their original uh, uh, opinion, mm -hmm. but it's possible to make them understand hey, why others are different from yours. Mm -hmm. And I think this is a very useful. If everyone can understand the other side's logic, mm -hmm. and they will possibly revise their original view about that issue. So improve the mutual understanding. Okay. Uh, first, uh, I have to say that I'm not an expert on the okay. Korean, uh, Korean Peninsula uh, uh, studies. But then, because if it relates to the security issues, especially the problems between North Korea and South Korea, mm -hmm. I would suggest that, and now, and uh, under the principle of uh, nuclear non-proliferation, mm -hmm. I think uh, we should be more realistic talking about mm -hmm. and uh, what we can do, what uh, approach we should adopt, first uh, to reduce the tension between the North Korea and uh, mm -hmm. South Korea mm -hmm. when they already carried out four nuclear uh, tests. The second thing that we have to prepare for North Korea's further nuclear tests. They very possibly to do the fifth or the sixth nuclear test, and then we have to uh, prepare for that. Mm -hmm. And if we prepare for that, then we know. And then if you cannot stop it, you need to look for some other strategy or approach to dealing with the relationship between these two countries. So from my understanding, the nuclear test in North Korea is really a negative factor on the regional security. Mm -hmm. But then the another factor is more important than that mm -hmm. is the political relations between the North and the South. Mm -hmm. If the North and the South can improve their relationship, mm -hmm. even North Korea mm -hmm. possesses some nuclear capability, mm -hmm. and that issue will be less dangerous than now. Okay. Um, actually, you know, 
uh, most of people talking about uh, what kind of a security architecture we need for the regional peace. Well, from my understanding, we have to admit it, uh, one fact, and there's no war since 1991 after the uh, collapse of the Soviet Union and in this region. I mean, the East Asia is quite uh, peaceful, although there's a lot of uh, military uh, tension and uh, conflicts. I mean, the so peaceful means that there's no war. And so this fact is very important. That means we have to ask uh, what's the mechanism behind it? What kind of system make the, uh, prevent the war from occurring in this region? And even the Europeans cannot prevent the war in Cold War, the war in the Georgia and the war in the Ukraine. And uh, what is this mechanism behind it? From my understanding, there's already a kind of a net and uh, linked uh, all these countries uh, through all kinds of uh, multilateral security dialogues in this Asia. I guess mm -hmm. East Asia possibly have the most uh, security dialogue and uh, forums in the world <laughs> than any, uh, any uh, uh, region else. So this uh, kind of a net of the security forums mm -hmm. and including the duty forum mm -hmm. is plays uh, the role mm -hmm. and uh, to prevent the war from occurring. Possibly this kind of regime is not less a basket to contain water, mm -hmm. but then it's just like a net to contain the volleyball, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? So I think now we should value this system and try to improve the system and make it become more reliable mm -hmm. to prevent, prevent war from occurring. Then I think we, will, we, have, we can have a durable peace for this region. Well, uh, uh, I would suggest that the audience, uh, uh, the audience of my uh, uh, interview who have interest in the Jeju Forum, I would suggest them give more attention to the security issues. Mm -hmm. Because, and for East Asia, the economic cooperation is actually developed quite fast. And uh, there have uh, much less problems or obstacles than the security cooperation. So I hope the audience give more attention to the security issues in this region and to help us to make the uh, region uh, peaceful and uh, stable.